Okay guys, quick update for Bitcoin. I'm gonna give you key support resistance levels to pay attention to. Remember you can access all these live charts on my website, pin the first comment description. Use my big affiliate link. It's also pin the first comment description as well. If you would like to get access to my Twitter only, uh, if you email back with your BitGet user ID number, I'll give you access to Twitter. If you do want to access Discord and the charts, you'll need to sign up through the website. So before I give you these key support resistance levels, guys, let's recap. This is the last video I put up. This was on June 24th. I was talking about this ring. I said when we cross it, I expect us to drop. Listen to what I said. Your current support you can see we held right here on the key wind charts at 20,742. So we would have long from this point. You know, ideal point was to long from when we bottomed. I did cover this a while back. But I do think what's going to happen is we will push up. Potentially, we will push up. We will hit around 22,800, and then we will ride down this ring. Now, it is very possible we can move sideways, right, and hit this ring and drop. I'm just giving you the scenarios I expect, but ultimately, I expect us to come down. But so if you watched that previous video, I was talking about this ring, and I said either we could hit the ring and drop, or we cross the ring and we drop. I went into detail about this ring, why this would be a pivot ring. Uh, this is a live chart. This, you can see this is where I was talking about where we found support right here at 20,742. This is rewound back. I'm going to hit play so you can see how it played out. Let me zoom out a bit. I'm going to hit play. And you can see we pushed up and we crossed the ring and started moving down. And that's currently where we're at right now. And this is the published version of that chart to show this published on June 25th to show you how this played out. We crossed the ring and we dropped. So it was a pivot point to know when potentially we'd have a move. It did play out. Uh, this was further into the same video. I was talking about the H1 chart. Uh, listen to what I said. I was giving you next resistance levels above. Now, I did expect us to push up potentially. Now, I said if we pushed up to 22,900, that would be the highest we go. But it gave you next resistance level above to watch. Resistance. So, again, if we get above and hold support above 21,150, that will be bullish up to potentially 22,900. The next key resistance just above is around 21,600. Again, so I gave you your next resistance level above to watch. This is the actual H1 chart. I had it rewound back. So you'll notice this yellow line here. This was our current resistance. So watch what happens when I hit play. And I have it rewound back to where, to where it was when I was talking about it in the video. So I'm going to hit play here. And you can see that holds as resistance and we drop from that point. And this also plays long to the Dow Jones. I'll cover this as well. You see we got a perfect resistance at the H1 chart again. Uh, right here, we topped out at 21,000, around 21,700, and you see we found perfect resistance here at 21,525. I did make a tweet about this. So guys, I am going to give you key support and resistance levels. Notice we came down and we found perfect support twice here, uh, right here at 19,817. Um, I made a tweet, guys. This was uh, on June 27th. And, I was, and if you do sign up, again, you get access to my Twitter and Discord. And remember, if you do my big affiliate link, I will give you access to Twitter. But I made this post uh, on the 27th. I was, we found support right down here on the H1 chart. And I said your next resistance was this point right here at 21,493. And as I just showed you, you can see we got rejected at this point. So you have entry points too short and entry points too long. I also made a post, guys, as I always tell you, follow the indices. If the markets are up, Bitcoin's up. If the markets are down, Bitcoin's down. So I made this post talking about the Dow Jones. So we were at our first resistance right here, around 31,900. And you can see how this played out. We got rejected from this point almost to the tick, started coming down, and Bitcoin came down as well. Uh, you can see right now markets are just... We're slightly in the green. It seems like lately, though, uh, when the markets are up, Bitcoin goes sideways. But when the markets drop, Bitcoin comes down. So, guys, follow the indices. Uh, this is the, the uh, O1 chart. This has been on par. Uh, we, we got topped out right up here around 21,600. So a lot of charts are in confluence with that target. I did expect us to go higher, but it's one resistance level at a time, guys. A lot of the charts were showing we were topping out around 21,600, and uh, the market started coming down, so it's an ideal point to short. Now, currently, we're at the o, um, O1 chart. We're at support around 19,934, so this would be a point to chance along. long. Uh, again, follow the markets. If you start seeing the markets push up, we could have some upside. Uh, this was another tweet I made, guys. Uh, this was, let's see, this was just talking about our current resistance level. This was the, I was showing... On the H1 chart, Q1 chart, C1 chart, we're at resistance uh, 20,145 and 20,150. I'm matching resistance levels, so that'd be a point too short. Current resistance levels, resistance means short and support means long. So you long at the green labels, you short at the red labels. And just to show you, uh, right here, this is where I was saying you were short. Notice this is currently our resistance. It was resistance at uh, 20,175. 
20,138, and it's still currently our resistance. So your resistance right now to watch. If we cannot get above 20,074, we have much more downside. On the C1 chart, you can see your next support level to watch. Two chance along, and other charts are confluence with this, would be around make this green for long, would be around 19,176. A lot of charts and influence to that target. So if we get above 20,074, the next point you go in on a short would be right here around 20,500 to potentially 20,600. And you can see this has been a lot of resistance. If you push up higher, the next point you would short above 20,600 would be 21,311. Again, just like I showed you in that tweet, the Q1 chart was resistance. 20,187, 20,169 and 20,145. So the current resistance right now is 20,121. Your next support level below to catch a bounce is 19,640. A lot of people ask me, well, you're giving all these different support and resistance levels and they're different on each chart. That is correct. Each one of these charts are charted different ways showing key support and resistance levels. So if this chart right here is showing your next major support is 19,171, but this chart is showing your next support level is above that, well, then you pay attention to this chart because this has your closest support level too long and your closest support level, uh, your closest resistance level too short. That's how you play the charts, guys. And again, if we come down here, look, another chart showing around, look, 19, this is 18,539. This will be respected as support as well. So again, if we drop below 19,171, well, now you have another chart to pay attention to down here at 18,500. Just showing you how to play the charts. Obviously, if you push up, well, we know your strongest resistance right now to watch is up around 21,753. So if you start seeing the market start pushing up, that would be an ideal point to short. You can see that it's been a lot of support and resistance. So that would be a very key resistance level. Not to mention, we have another FIB channel line right here. So this would be double resistance. So if we do push up 21,600 to potentially 21,759 would be an ideal point to put in a short. But currently, we need to get above 20,121 20, 21 before we can have more upside. Next point, watch catch the bounce around 19,640. This is the uh, H1 chart. Again, uh, this is where we topped out up here at 21,500. Again, a lot of charts are in confluence around 21,500, 21,600. And you can see we came down and we found perfect, almost perfect support here at 19,875. This was to the tick, giving you an ideal point to put in a, sh uh, a scalp long. So as you can see, your current support right now is 19,800. Uh, if we push up, your resistance above, let's see here, is right here at 20,000. Make this red. Again, red means short, green means long. But obviously, if it's above, it's resistance. That would mean that means you're short. If it's below that support, that means you're long. So let's see what this target is down here. This is around 19,076. So you can see a lot of charts are showing a lot of support around 19,000 to 18,500. Again, your next major resistance, you can see this, this line has been a lot of resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, support, support. So you know if we push up, an ideal point to put in a short is going to be right here around potentially 20,367. And if you push above that, your next key resistance to watch is around, well, right out here is around 20,900. So again, just load up the charts, the closest support and resistance levels. Uh, this here is the G1 chart. This is just a, a more detailed version of the M1 chart with some more FIB channels. Your next key support, like I just showed you on this other chart, this is going to be a very key support level. You have this support level right here, right? And you have this support level here. They're FIB channel lines. So you know if we drop, if we have a major drop from this point, this is where I'd go on a heavy scalp long. So you know, if we come down to 19,100, this is where you would chance along. You know, it depend. You stay in it how long you want to stay in it. You could chance along up to potentially twenty thousand three hundred thirty. But I would take my profit at that point, and probably get out. But I do expect to catch a bounce at this point. Obviously, if this breaks, we have so much more downside. And remember, if something happened and we just got this huge pump and we shot straight up, I'm still sticking to what I said in the previous videos. This will be the absolute top. If, if we push up right now, the highest we go is 23,000. If it's out here, it's 20, 23,216. When we hit this line, I'm going in a heavy short. I'm not saying we have to. I'm just saying if we did push up, that would be an ideal point to go in a heavy short. It is possible we continue down from this point. I will go on in along at 19,122, and this plays along with the M1 chart. I've covered this chart plenty of times. This is your next strongest support. This is right here, 19,100. Make this green. Green you long, red you short. And that line I was talking about, you short, is right up here. That is this FIB channel line at 23,000. So that is where you go in a heavy short if we pushed up. 
Obviously, if we come down, guys, if you watched our previous video, I think the price is going to continue to move down this line till we hit this target. I've talked about this. I believe that ultimately we're headed down to, and again, this would be uh, late July, early August. I think we're headed down to around 16500 So I think this is going to be a slow grind down till our next bottom, and I do think that 16500 will be a temporary bottom. I think it's a very possible to go much lower than this, and this has to do with inflation and the uh, Fed's raising interest rates. So I do expect a lot more downside. I just give you key points to long and short. Guys, uh, if you do want to uh, sign up to Bigit, I do have tutorial teaching you how to do uh, this is simulated trade, just fake money, so you can practice doing longing and shorting, setting a stop loss, see how much you would have made, how much you would have lost. So if you can watch this video, I'll put a link up to it now. And if you do want to sign up to Bigit, I uh, you can do up to 125 times leverage. I don't do more than 40 or 50 times. But again, my Bitget affiliate link is pinned in the first comment description. If you do use that affiliate link uh, and email back with your user ID number, I will give you access to uh, Twitter, Twitter only. Again, if you want to get access to the charts, you'll need to sign up. And again, if you do want to sign up to the website, again, that link's pinned in the first comment description. Uh, I do have stocks, tutorials, teaching my method charting. $49 a month gives you access to uh, Bitcoin, Altcoin charts, uh, Discord, and Twitter. But guys, that's it. Uh, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.